What's going on? Boots on ground reviews. Trying different shit so you don't have to. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way, my last video was on one of Outlaw Dip Company's can of Joe's. Uh, the first one I did was Wintergreen. I'll have another video um, that will kind of go over like my experience with it over the last few days. Um, this next one, somebody asked if I could do the Mocha next. So we'll probably jump into that one. I have four more. Uh, the other ones are French Vanilla, Hazelnut, Irish Cream, and Black. Let me know if you want me to get into those, and I will, but here we go. And got something a little different tonight. I got the, uh, my wife got me a little uh, double oat Woodford, I think. So I wouldn't mind starting doing reviews on these either, but smooth. That's a whole nother video though. The Mocha Can of Joe, these run at $4.99 a can. You can get a six pack, which gives you one of each. Um, I think you can mix and match them, but they have like a starter one. I think it's like, I got it wrote down here, uh, 30 bucks probably after taxes. So about 30 bucks, you can get one of each can um, and just kind of go through and pick on your own. Um, going through the website, the Mocha is kind of like if you're into like chocolatey type flavors, then this will probably be the dip out of the six that you will like. Um, I'll get this thing flipped around here in a second. We'll kind of, we'll dive into this bad boy. In my last video, I did mention these are tobacco free and nicotine free made out of black tea leaves plus their own flavors. Um, I kind of have noticed with uh, a lot of Outlaws products is they don't have like a real, I don't want to say like a fake flavor. I'm not trying to knock any of the other products, but it's not like a super artificial flavoring that I've noticed with some of his products so far. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Okay. So here's the product kind of like last time. Uh, obviously the can feels about the same as the other one. Uh, the cut on these is fat cut. Uh, it goes into, uh, it has 1500 milligrams of caffeine per can. Um, everything like on the last can looks good. Uh, there's no like nothing weird on this can pretty much. I mean, obviously the exact same as the other one, um, kind of goes into where they're located. Let's get this thing opened up. Feels normal, just like the other one. Opens up easy. Let's get a decent look at that. It's got a pretty strong aroma already. Um, there's the inside of the can, in case you want to see it. It's kind of cool. It's, you know, stamped in there real quick. Let's get a little smell of this. Okay, yeah. So like I was saying earlier, it's it's got a, a pretty strong hint of a, a chocolate smell to it. It actually smells really good. It's like mixing with my bourbon over here a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got a hint, a hint of kind of like a dark chocolate. If you ever smell like a, I'm trying to think of like a chocolate to compare it to, but yeah, definitely smells like dark chocolate. Consistency is good. Let's see if it's got a. Somebody wanted me to squish last time. Let's check out pinchability. Got a decent pinch. Say you want a fatty, you know, got a. It's got decent pinchability. It's not like. Super falling apart when I go to pick it up, stuff like that, which is, you know, obviously nice. I've noticed that's been kind of consistent with his products compared to some other ones. Is He's definitely got decent pinchability, um, in my opinion. But yeah, definitely a strong hit of chocolate. I definitely want to get this in. Um, yeah, we'll get this thing flipped around, get it packed. Let's see if this thing dips, spits, and is legit. All right, let's see if this... Dip spits and it's legit. Now, now my freaking neck hurts, dude. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, smells like like dark chocolate. That's wild. I still can't get over that. It smells like literally just like chocolate. <laughs> Pulls out nice. <coughs> no. But it comes out of the can nice, goes in nice, instantly, as soon as I put it on my lip, I could tell, like, a big, big rush of a chocolate taste. Um, that's wild. Definitely a dark chocolate. Tastes really freaking good, though, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably, 
one of the best coffee dips I've ever put my lips so far. Granted, I still got four more, but this one kicks the crap out of the wintergreen one for sure. I mean, this one tastes good. I'm trying to wait to see if I still get a little bit of a burn. Man, it's hard to get over that, that chocolate flavor. It really is. I'm getting a little bit of a burn, but not like the wintergreen one was. I could tell it's there. It's not like I can't tell that it's in my lip. I could definitely tell it's in there. It's got like a real slight burn to it. But the flavor like takes your mind off of really wanting that burn. I'm thinking I would use this like on my way to work. Slap this bad boy in while I'm like drinking my coffee on the way to work. Because <laughs> it's not going to like hinder the taste of it. Um... I think it pair up really nice with the, uh, I got a company that I really, really like, uh, Iron Bean Coffee Company, if you never had them, they are too legit to quit. Um, I'll probably have to review a bunch of their products too, because it's, their stuff's good. But yeah, this, this is overpowering with chocolate. Like it tastes really good. Like no bullshit. This tastes really good. Like I can sit here and gut this for like three hours. I know it's safe to gut it more, more than likely, but you could definitely... I could probably say, I want to eat it, honestly. See if it spits. See if it's got a decent spit. Because, I mean, you can dip. But if you can't fucking spit, you got to get, like, a real deep internal suck. Ready? <laughs> it's good shit. Good fucking shit. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it sips, though. Let's, let's say you're, you're sitting down with the homies. You got a little coffee lipper in, you know, you're sipping bourbon with the G's. Let's see. It sips. Yeah, you can sip with this dip in. Not that you couldn't before, but you know what I mean. Yep. Most deaf. Um, there's a ton of these different type of products. Um, I'm, I'm obviously going to finish all these, all these different flavors. Um, like I said before, I got four more left, so let me know, you know, drop which one you want to see next. I got uh, Irish cream, French vanilla, hazelnut, and I got black left. I'm kind of excited to try that one because, honestly, I just like coffee, so my opinion might be a little crazy on here. If you freaking hate coffee, you're probably not going to like these dips, but then again, you might. If you like uh, like those Monster Energy coffee drinks, stuff like that, like they all kind of taste the same. They all got like that same flavor and same aroma, so... If you drink those, you, you'll probably definitely like these for sure. In between these videos, um, let me know. I do have, I think I have his Lucky Lipper, Mint, and Wintergreen. Um, I've chewed his Mint for a while, but I could definitely do like a, a good review on that one if you want. Um, that's probably been my favorite so far just for like, because I used to chew Mint, so it like correlates really well. Um, but let me know. I could do the Wintergreen, the Mint, and the, I, I'm pretty sure I got Lucky Lipper too. I could do all those for you. If you want, just drop in the comments. Let me know which one you want me to do. Um, I've had it in for a little while. It's not like, it's not going all over the place. Um, it's not like, you know, how it gets like in the back. It starts to like slip away on its own. It hasn't started to do that yet. It's still holding its flavors. Probably hasn't been that long. Maybe like 10 minutes I've had this thing. Um, flavor is still there. It's, I have like, a pretty strong aroma of like chocolate right here like going right up into my nose um overall i gotta give if i gave the last dip I'd probably give that like six out of ten because the coffee wintergreen thing kind of threw me off a little bit it was good um but this is this would probably be an eight and that's only because i haven't done the other ones i might switch the numbers around a little bit but this is definitely an eight out of ten um when it comes to his product so far for sure I mean, if you deer hunt and you're sitting in your freaking tree stand, you got you got a mocha dip in. If those deer like mocha, it, it's over. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, the coffee wintergreen will be an acquired taste, but honestly, this mocha is this is damn good. I was kind of skeptical at first when he dropped these coffee dips because I mean, if you've tried any in the past and you kind of know like what it was essentially going to be, but with it being the uh, I don't want a lot here. With it being the fat cut, it it doesn't move around like it's it's not all over the place, and it's still it's probably been about fifteen minutes and some change, um, and it's still 
still chocolatey as fuck. You know what's one thing I don't know why they don't do? Where's all the dip models? <laughs> Could you imagine we're like on the front page like... Like it, like that drunk dude at parties just... <laughs> who, who's got that friend? Who's got that friend that like at the end of the night packs his giant freaking hogs whole leg and he's just... Come on, I know you at least got one of those friends. It's still holding its flavor pretty well. It's probably been like 20 minutes and some change. Um, it's still real strong. I'm trying to think like in my mind, it's telling me exactly what it tastes like. I want to say kind of like my brain's telling me like hot chocolate or something is the closest thing I could think of. Yeah, I want to say hot chocolate, but it's still like I just freaking put it in. Like it's damn good. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm going to try to knock out some more of these videos. Um, let me know which one you guys want to see next. If you guys have any other uh, non-tobacco products that you guys want me to try. Uh, really, honestly, anything. I could do bourbons. Like, I might start doing a bunch of wild stuff. I don't know. Depends what I have time for, honestly. But uh, if you got any questions, you know I'm going to answer them. So get it dropped in the comments. You know I'm going to hook you up like a tow truck. And until next time. As before, drop in the comments what you want to see, and I'll give you my honest-ass opinion. Have a good day. I appreciate y'all.